Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Pilot Climb. In today's video we are going to talk about the best penetration speed. I'm just practicing the simulator and I thought to make this quick video in order to make sure you get what this best penetration speed is. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. V1, rotate. Hi there, I'm Gabriel from PilotClimb.com. If you want to support my video and my job, please give it a like to the video. This is very important because it will help the channel to grow. Okay, so without further ado, let's say you are climbing, okay? As you can see from the video in here, we are climbing to flight level 370, okay? That's our target flight levels. However, as you can see, there is bump, it's bumpy now, okay? Because we've got somewhere in there, as you can see from the weather radar, and as you can see from outside the aircraft, it's, uh, it's in the turbulence, okay? In fact, if you, we look from from outside guys you can actually see the aircraft is going everywhere okay so it's bumpy all right so now the 309er this the climb speed that we've got in there okay is the speed that the FMC has calculated because it had a cost index the cost index that we put in the FMC during the pre-flight preparation is cost index 100 so what does it mean is that with this cost index the aircraft actually calculates a target speed for the climb of 300 309er okay However, the first thing, the best thing for you is to try to go away from the, uh, the turbulence and the weather as quick as possible, okay? So there is something that is called best penetration speed, best turbulence penetration speed, okay? And it's a speed at which you should uh, fly if you encounter yourself in a turbulence, like we are doing now in this case, okay? So we are bumpy, the air is bumpy, so we want to set the right speed, okay? This, every aircraft has got a different speed, but they are pretty much the same for the jet aircraft, okay? In the case of the Boeing 737, this best turbulence penetration speed is 280 knots. So what does it mean? Is that if you climb a 3 or 9 because the FMC calculate that, and you are in a turbulence, you want to set 300, and, uh, sorry, 280 knots. How do you do that? Because as you can see in here, we are in a speed. You simply click speed interventation in here, speed, okay? And as you can see, it's going to give us 0.75. We want to change to uh, knots, okay, we, we, we actually push this button in there, and then we lower the speed all the way down to 280. Okay, these 280 knots will give us the best penetration speed, so it's the speed at which the aircraft can suffer for turbines, okay, it's the best penetration, turbines penetration speed for the aircraft. You've got another benefit because you're gonna fly slower, thus your angle of climbing will be higher, thus you will climb higher as quick as possible. Okay, not as quick as possible, but, but quicker than the normal uh, climb speed. Okay, so in this case, you have a good angle because 20 knots is lower than the 309 knots during climb, and on top of that, you are flying on the best penetration, turbo's penetration speed for the aircraft. Okay, this is something very important. Now, the Boeing 737 has got this best penetration speed has got in knots is 280 knots. In Mach number is Mach 0.76. So let me show you what I, what I mean. So as you can see, this is our Mach number, okay? 72, 72, yeah, it's, it's a bit bump because it's bumping, the Mach number is going up and down all the time, okay? But normally it's 72, but with a climb, you will see that at constant uh, uh, through our speed, okay? In this case, the constant indicated air speed, the Mach number will increase. In fact, now we are 73, 74, as you can see, okay? And I made a separate video where I explained this phenomena. So what I want to show is that the higher you get at constant through air speed, in this case, indicated air speed, the higher will be the Mach number. So once we have, once Mach, uh, sorry, once 280 knots equals 0.76, Mach 0.76, we need to fly the Mach number. Okay, so the best penetration speed of the Boeing 737 is 280 knots or Mach 0.76, whichever is lower, okay? Good, so now you see 2.5 and now we are getting about 2.6. So what we want to do, okay, we want to change from 280 knots, we want to say to the autopilot, fly me the uh, 0.76. So how do you do that? You simply come in here and you press this button back again and it should give you 2. 0.75 and 0.76. So now we are flying Mach numbers, okay? It's a little bit uh, strange, you know, now uh, the magenta 0.76, how it works in there, but should be more steady, you know, that's, that's an error of the simulator. But that's how 
you fly in order to make sure you fly with the best penetration speed okay so the best penetration speed guys is the speed at which the, that you want to set in case you find in a turbulent air because with that speed the aircraft is more capable to absorb turbulence all right so i hope you now understand and now you know what is the best penetration speed and how can you do how can you set the best penetration speed both in Mach number and indicate airspeed nodes okay the only thing that you need to know guys is what is the best penetration speed of the aircraft i can only talk for the boeing 737 because it's the, the aircraft that have been flying for the last 12 years so if you have a different aircraft make a research find out what it is and if you find yourself in a turbulence set that speed all right so i wish you a good day and guys if you have any question leave a comment below and then i will help you out i wish you a good day and i'll see you in the next one